golden bears are on their way. They're gonna have a magical day. Nature's wonders waiting there. New discoveries everywhere. Golden bears are on the case. Are on the case. Are on the case. Nature's clues are. Everywhere. Supper time. We could just have a teeny tiny snack. Mmm, cheese. No one will notice if we just take a little bit. <laughs> They'll think it was mice. Who's there? <gasps> Sorry, Elva. Aren't we, Bev? Yes. Sorry. I can only apologize for my grandchildren, Elva. I don't know what they were doing in here. What can we do to say sorry? Why don't you wrap up all of Elva's cheeses so they don't get dirty again? What a wonderful idea. I've got some cloth you can use. I go and get it. Aw, Grandfather Lear! If you help Elva, you might just discover something new. And if you do, I might be persuaded to give you a little treat. A trip in the time spiral? Can we travel to another time and place? To see an inventor? We'll see. Maybe this won't take long after all. <sighs> We've only got about a hundred cheeses to go. Let's go and get them then. <gasps> oh no! Boy! Shoo! Boy! Get off! Bad goat! Oh no! It's all muddy. We can't use this to wrap Elva's best cheese in now. Mom might have some more cloth we can use. Come on! There! One of my goats is missing. Have you seen him? Oh, dear. I'm afraid not, Vian. I do hope he hasn't been eaten by the Ballybeg goat catcher. Is there such a thing? Well, I haven't actually seen it. But it's a sort of mean, gianty fairy thing, and it catches goats. I see. It does sound unlikely, but I'll keep an eye out for your goat. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> goat catcher. <laughs> what do you two want with a bit of cloth? Are you making your own clothes at last? No, we're wrapping cheese with it. <laughs> of course you are. Thanks, Mum. See you later. There, finished. About time. It's taken us all afternoon, but it looks great. Elva will be really pleased. Bye. Bye. No, don't come in, goat. Catch it. Not again. Garth, all the cheeses are come unwrapped. That one's getting away. Come back, cheese! cheese. Stop. Stop! Boy! Ah, <laughs> the disappearing goat. You've escaped the Ballybeg goat catcher then? Boy! Boy! 
<laughs> no, I know there isn't really a goat catcher. But Fian is worried about you just the same. Now, I wonder how my grandchildren are getting on. Oh, dear. Ah, time to get you back to the farm, I think. wrapped up properly. I don't know. And we haven't discovered anything new yet. <sighs> I really wanted to go on the time spiral. <sighs> Listen! Dermot's asleep again. <sighs> Look! Huh? I'm stuck! How did that happen? The candle! The melted beeswax dripped on your cape and stuck it to the floor! That's it! That's what? We can use melted wax to stick the cloth together around the cheese. Then, even if that goat knocks them down again, they won't get all dirty. Thanks, Dermot! Well done. I knew you'd discover something new. Yes! The time spiral! In another time and place, you meet with someone face to face. They discovered something new and solved the problem, just like you. It works! It really works! Wow! Hello, I'm Garth, and this is my sister, Bev. Sorry we surprised you. We've just come to visit. Well, you've sure picked a brilliant time. I'm Laura Scudder, and this is my new invention, the crisp bag. Great! But what's a crisp? <laughs> Oh, well, where have you two been living? <laughs> you wouldn't believe us if we told you. <laughs> Here, try one. My new crisp bag keeps them fresh, so they taste better for longer. Mmm, crispy. So, how did you make the crisp bag? I'll show you. Come with me. Up till now, I've been selling my crisps in these tins and tubs. Ew! It didn't go crunch this time. Exactly. The crisps don't last very long in the tubs. They go soft and, well, not very crispy. I realized it was air that was making the crisps go soft, so I had to find a way to stop it getting in. But whatever I tried, the air still got in. So I was doing my ironing one day and someone had left some wax paper under my clothes. The hot iron melted the wax on the paper, so it all stuck together. That's a bit like the candle wax melting onto Dermot's clothes. Wax melts when it gets hot and then goes hard again when it cools down. I worked out that if I ironed the edges of the paper to make a bag, they would stick together and stop the air getting in. And it worked. Would you like another one? Oh, yes, but we've got to go. Thanks for showing us. She had these things called crisps. And when she put the hot iron on the paper, it melted the edges and hardened again 
just like the wax melts on a candle. Remember what I always say. Nature, Nature holds the answers. answers. And we don't need a hot iron. Just a candle. We'd better go and wrap up all that cheese. I'll come and light the candle for you. It's a shame we can't nibble bits of cheese anymore. Amazing! <laughs> Those bags will keep my cheeses safe for a long time. Clever grandchildren you have, Lear. They certainly are.